Hey everybody, check it out. I've got this big, beautiful box right here full of Hot Wheels. Let's get it open. It is time. It is time to finally open this big collection of red lines. Loose, loose red lines. This came in about three weeks ago and I've been waiting for the perfect time to open it and I think that time is right now. It's a little dark and gloomy outside so I'm here with the light on inside. And let's see. I'd rather be doing yard work today, but the weather is terrible. Look at this. Lots of good packing materials in there. And another box inside the box. How nice is that? All right. Opening the second layer of box. And there's more packing. And here, look inside. All the cars are there and they're all labeled. Look at that. That is so cool. Let's start ripping them. A teal 917. This is actually one of the cars that I was really looking forward to. Yes. What do you think of that light? Is that pretty good? It's pretty good on a day like today when it's dark and gloomy outside. Oh, yeah. I was looking forward to this. Let's see. Is it everything I thought it would be? Oh, look at that. It is a pretty aqua Hong Kong. Porsche 917. I don't think I've ever had Aqua before. Very nice condition. There might be a little something there, a little corrosion or something right there, but it is pretty darn nice. Aqua 917. Harry Holler, let's check it out. Harry Holler, let's check it out. Sometimes these get wrapped so well that they're almost hard to get out. Harry Holler Magenta. Oh, this one is sweet. Wow. Look at that. Nice and shiny. like that shiny motor. That's a beauty. Look at that. That is nice. Harry Holler. Porsche 917. What about Sugar Caddy? Now, I know one of the Sugar Caddies, it's kind of neat that all the names are on them. One of the Sugar Caddies in this lot is damaged. One is good and one is damaged. But that's okay. This one is the bad one. Sadly, it's an orange sugar caddy with only half a hood. But look at those beautiful wheels. Hmm. Beautiful wheels on there. Sugar caddy. Let's put that here. Put that there. We got a Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. I think there are two blue Rolls Royces in this collection. All right. One with a white interior. Plenty of paint pops on this one. Now, you'll notice that all of the cars in this collection, probably all of them, have really beautiful wheels because the cars are virtually unused. This one also looks to be unused, but it has terrible paint popping on it. That's typical of Hong Kong cars where the paint just pops off in little dots. This one is very speckly, but still, it's a pretty, pretty car. Rolls Royce. Here's a hot heap. And as with all Hot Wheels collections that are out there, 68s are the hardest models to get. The 68 lineup. And they're usually in the worst condition. Hot heaps now were made for quite a few years after 68. And they can be found in beautiful condition. Look at that. Green, hot heap, Hong Kong. Very bright. Very pretty. Look at that chrome. It is nice. That's a nice, nice, nice car right there. That one I like. I like that one a lot. Here's a Beetle. Here's a Beetle, Hong Kong. Oh, look at that, that's a beauty. Got a couple of beautiful green cars now, look at that. Look at those two. That is sweet, 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 sweet. All right, happy with those. Very happy with those. Turbo Fire, Turbo Fire Fantasy Car. Oh, look at that, nice teal color. So bright. Got a few little dings on the side there. Nice wheels, nice base. It's a pretty car in the teal color. It's very similar to that, not quite, but a little more shiny with that there. All right, next one up, Ford Coupe. Ford Coupe. I think this one's one I was looking forward to. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah. Bright Lime. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a beauty? That is Bright Lime. So nice. You know what? 
I think I'm going to put that here in my favorite row. I'm going to go get my other light and see if it works better than this one. This one seems awfully, I don't know, awfully bright. Now the back of my cell phone has one really bright LED on it, but look how many LEDs are in this thing. This is a LumiCube, similar in size to a cell phone. It's got the power button here. There it is. It goes by percentage. We're on 20% light right there. I think, let's try putting this off to the side. Hmm, it's kind of neat. It's like a stadium. I think if I put it back here, it would be really nice. I held it in one hand, but I can't do that, so I'm gonna have to get a tripod, and then we'll have much more natural light. Right, let's try this, a little more natural light, I think. Now check that out. This one is a fantastic beauty, a nice, beautiful Lime 36 Ford Coupe. One of my favorites so far. Let's dig right in here and see Nitty Gritty Kitty. Let's see Nitty Gritty Kitty. Let's see what we've got with the nitty gritty kitty. It's red. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice car. A red nitty gritty kitty. The white interior. Quite spectacular. Look at that. These cars definitely appear to be unplayed with. Light wear, but that is age. That, you can't go 50 years plus and not have something happen to you. Trust me. Another beetle. All right. I think there, I believe there's a lot of twos of things in here. Look at that. It is. It's the second beetle in green. In a beautiful green. All right. I'll take it. Right there. Right there. Taking it to the bank. Right there. Teal 917. There are two of those. Two of those. Hopefully one is perfect. Yes. This one I think is the perfect one. Look at that. That is pretty. What a pretty car. Definitely gonna put that in the old collection or the new collection. Now nah, they're all old. All right. Rolls Royce, another blue one. Again, with a second. Second. Oh, look at this one. This one is a very nice. Does it, it's not, it doesn't have the paint popping that the other one had. A little smoother paint job, a little more satin look. Very nice. So much variety in Hot Wheels collecting. A little shinier on this one, a little brighter on the paint, a little less popping on this one. Every Hot Wheels car is going to look slightly different. That's why you just gotta keep finding them and finding them and finding them. Seasider Red. Oh yeah, that's right. I call this the Seasider Collection because there are two red Seasiders. And I am glad because I had let somebody have my red Seasider. Now I have one back in its place. Red Sea Cider. How beautiful. How very beautiful. There's one Camaro in this lot and it's probably the car with the most wear on it. And here it is. It's a blue US Camaro. It's got some white stripes on there that need to come off. S suspension is good. Wheels need to be straightened on the side there. Could stand to have a new set of wheels. It's a US blue with white interior. Not a bad car, got a lot of chipping on it, but man, wouldn't that be nice if it was in mint condition? Wouldn't that be nice? That would be swell. Here we go. Looks like we've got a pair of mongoose and snakes in here. Here's a Hong Kong snake with the blue windows. Stickers not placed properly. This one goes on top, that one goes on front, but not bad. Still got the ladder bar which is good. So we've got a complete Snake One there. Hong Kong edition of the Snake One. What is this? I think a paddy wagon. Paddy wagon. It also has the white stripe on the paddy wagon. And a broken top. Broken top. All right. Well, a lot of times the paddy wagon is broken like that. No window. Yeah, that's quite a mess. Whoops. And there it goes. Down it goes. <clears throat> Down and out the paddy wagon goes. Down and out. All right, keep going. Keep it going here. Mantis. Mantis. Green Hong Kong. Nothing special there. Just a regular old Mantis. Green Hong Kong. Nice wheels. Pretty good. 
A lot of times you get a Mantis like this and you have a Seasider, you take the wheels off, put it on the Seasider, since it's a better car. Always make your best cars look the best. Of course, Shelby Turbine. Let's see what we've got. Shelby Turbine. Oh, hey. Oh, ho, oh, hey. Ha, <laughs> ha. Hee, hee, hoo, hoo. Yeah. That one's got a really nice patina, a little, or shine, or whatever you want to call it. There's a little bit of wear on there. A few nicks, but they're micros. But that's got a good color to it. That has got really, really good color. There we are. I'll lower the lights down a little bit. All right, what's next? Seasider again. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Actually, there's nothing I'll know about that. The more seasiders, the better. You can never have too many seasiders, especially when they're glowing and beautiful red and have shiny motors and shiny bases. Yeah, seasiders. Love that. This is the two seasider collection. The two seasider collection. Every collection I buy, I name it for posterity as to the car that really stand out. Oh, look at that. Holy smokes. These Shelby's. This this one in particular is even more beautiful than the other one, but man, oh man, the red on these is just unreal. Unreal. That red right there is something out of this world. Something out of this world. Silver 917. Silver 917. Oh, good shape on that. Look at that. It's got some flower powers on a Porsche. What were they thinking? That's just silly. You know, put flower powers on us. Porsche 917. That's crazy. Here we got the Prudhomme Challenger. All right. Oh, we got a second one. This one in better shape. Still with the stickers on the wrong spot. But there's two, and I've been out of these for a while, so snakes are great. Snakes are always good to find. Lotus Turbine. Lotus Turbine. Let's see what we got. A red. Oh, this one's rough. This one's a rough one. Going to be heading to the bargain basement section of the website. The Lotus Turbine. Along with the Patty Wagon. Patty's Wagon. All right. Mantis again. Like I said, there's two of everything, I do believe. Two of everything. Mantis. And one is better. This must be one of those collections where he was allowed to play with one and keep the other one nice because this one is mint and the other one has a little bit of wear on it. And the sugar caddy, that one had the orange that had the broken hood. Maybe this is the one that was not used. Let's check. So exciting. Every unwrap. Oh, yeah. This one is nice. Whoa. Got a little wear on there, wear on there. I guess they did get to play with both of these. Crack in the windshield. Sugar Caddy's not actually, it's not as popular as you would think it would be. It's kind of a funny car because there's so many blue ones and so many green ones and so few of the really tough colors. So few. Here's a Mercedes. Mercedes coming out. Oh, green Mercedes. Nice shape. Nice shape. That's a nice Mercedes. Green. We'll put that next to the Rolls Royce in the European factory. Mercedes again. Is it going to be green again? No. This one's going to be olive. Look at that. Nice light olive color. A little bit of wear on that one. Funny though, look at those wheels. They look untouched. Then you've got some wear on top. This one must have got it banged around a little bit. Possibly, probably just from storage. Because that does not look like the car's been played with. Let's take a look here. Harry Holler, another one. Is it the same magenta? It is. Another magenta. This time wear. Quite a bit of wear on this one. Got some stripes left over from a Grand Prix car. So we got one worn... And one there. One worn, one good one, one some wear, hardly any. Interesting. A little wear, hardly any, a little wear, hardly any. Two Volkswagens both nice though. Hmm. I'm still thinking that there was a setup there with 
One to play with and one to save. One to play with, one to save. Once upon a time, I got a collection from a guy who got both his cars and his brother's cars. And his cars were terrible, and the brother's cars were beautiful. And they were all the same cars. Here's an orange Ferrari 312P. This one definitely got the wear on it. This one with the raised bumps. Sometimes they're raised, sometimes they're indented on those decorations. The decor. All right, where are we at on this video? All right, let's get back at it. Python. What do we got in the Python? Oh, gold Python. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. Gold Python. A little bit of light wear up front there. Looks like a wheel needs to be straightened out. But look at that shiny chrome base. Wow. That is nice. That is a beauty. And we'll put that down there in the front row with the 68s. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. I'm loving this one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. There'll be plenty of time for deciding later. Plenty of time for deciding later. On which ones are the most beautiful? Here we got a red Hong Kong mongoose. Got the stickers placed properly. Nice shape. Red Hong Kong blue window. Red Hong Kong blue window. Hey, we got Fire Chief Cruiser. I got a ton of Fire Chief Cruisers around here. Every collection comes with a Fire Chief Cruiser. This one, the bright red. Some of them are more of a dull red. This one, the U.S. wheels. USA, Hong Kong. I, these also come with Hong Kong wheels. I can't remember if, it, if they actually make it in Hong Kong in the U.S., but they don't come with blue windows. But a lot of them have the chromey wheels. This one has all U.S. wheels all around which will probably end up on a U.S. car, some other car. Especially the early ones, like Camaros, need those wheels all the time. All right, next one up. Now, this collection has a lot of cars and quite a few nice, really top-notch ones. All of them are nice, of course. Every red line is nice, but some are top-notch, and here would be one of those. Look at this beauty. A gold Ford Mark IV. Gold Ford Mark IV. That is a beautiful car. I wish the stickers were perfect. And you see this one. I love this gold. And the back is matching, which is really a bonus. But you see the wheels don't look great. These wheels on this Fire Chief Cruiser would go on there just fine. Make it look so much better. And you can swap the wheels around. They pop off. Sometimes I just go like this. I put my finger behind it like that, and then I just pull, just like that. Sometimes I use a needle nose pliers, just get it under there and twist it back and forth. In any case, you got to be very, very careful. U.S. cars I've never had any problems with, but Hong Kong cars are more, more complicated. They usually have the disc wheel where you can split it here. But when they have the hub wheels on the Hong Kong cars, you got to really be careful because they will come off. They will rip right off the hub, the inside, the white part. You know, the, whoops. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a teal Ford Mark IV. Look at that. Looks like the Ford Mark IV collection is getting some new, new pieces. Look at that. That is so nice. I love the Ford Mark IV. It's beautiful when the colors match front and back. So beautiful. Oh, hey, let's keep it running here with another Ford Mark IV. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Another beautiful teal. Another beautiful teal. Perfect wheels. That is a nice car. Beautiful. Ford Mark IV. That is a car that just does not get its due. Firebird. All right, let's see what we got. Firebird. Oh, light my Firebird. Green. It's got that silly white stripe on there. Got to get that off there. Maybe I'll leave it on this one. It's about a near mint condition. Green, light green. Light my Firebird. Nice. That's a decent car. Oh, we're getting down to the end here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, no, nine. Oh, we 
got another dozen cars. We do. Ferrari 312, Chaparral. Oh, there's two beautiful, beautiful blue Chaparrals. Corvette. Oh, yeah, Corvette. Mantis. Mark IV. Is that another Ford Mark IV? Hot Heap. Mighty Maverick. Carabo. Carabo. Fire Cruiser. Fire Cruiser. And Firebird. All right, let's see. Let's go with the Ford Mark IV. See what we got. Are we going to have another pretty one? Oh, that's not a Ford Mark IV. It's a Continental, a Lincoln Continental. This one in a lime color, a very nice lime color, actually. I don't think it's yellow. I think it is actually lime. I'm not sure I have too many lime ones. It would be interesting to see how hard it is to get these stripes off. So you don't want those on there. But it's actually a very nice car. It's a lime. Or is it yellow? Looks more limey. It's not really dark, so I think it's got to be like a lime. All right, we'll go with that. We will go with that. Let's see what the 312P has to offer. Ferrari 312P. We have one already in orange. One in orange. Is it going to be a red enamel, which is the common color? No, it's another orange, this time in better shape. Look at that. What a pretty car. Orange Ferrari 312P. Beautiful wheels. Beautiful stickers. Very nice. I got a little rub there, but that's very common when you slide across the track. Get a little rub there. So you got two of those. Very, very nice. Hot heap. We got a green one already. What, you think we'll have another green one? I'm starting to see two of every color. There it is. Green. Another green. This one a little darker green. Look at the difference in the shades. Yes. If you specialize in one car or another, you can get multiple shades of the same color for your rainbow. Everyone loves a rainbow of Hot Wheels. They come in so many pretty colors. So many pretty colors. Here we got another Mantis in green. Well, that's good. I was out of stock on Mantis. So now I have three in stock. Mantis. And Mantis is actually a pretty darn cool car. It just depends on the color. Depends on the color. Oh, look at this. Hey. The more scarce white interior. Carabo, Hong Kong. Magenta, white interior. That's a tough one. It's tough to find with the white interior. Almost all of them have not white interior, which means brown usually. Brown interior. What do we got here now? Oh, here we got the same car with the brown interior. Brown and white. Actually kind of looks silly with the white. Maybe that's why they didn't make too many. It kind of sticks out sort of silly. Mighty Maverick. Only one Mighty Maverick in the lot. One Mighty Maverick in the lot. Hopefully the spoiler's good. Oh, hey. Wow. That's really nice. That's really nice. Purple Mighty Maverick with a white stripe, which it's supposed to have. And the spoiler is intact. It's not broken. Wow. That's very, very hard to find a Hong Kong purple with a good spoiler. That is nice. Got some light wear on it around the edges, but overall it presents very, very nicely. Ooh, that's a good one. Put that on the side there. That is a good one. Now, it is a Corvette in this collection, and I know a lot of you are hoping to find a 68 Corvette, but this is not a 68 Corvette. It is not. It's something else. It is a gray Corvette. That's the scarce one. That is the scarce one, and this one looks to be mint condition. So that's good. It was a little bonus in the collection. They just made the collection worth worthwhile. I was interested in the collection because it had... Beautiful it race cars, the Porsche, the two red seasiders. Always like blue Rolls Royces. Those are always good. The purple was curious, but you know, I always think they're gonna be broken. Here's a light, my Firebird in green. This one's real nice. Yeah, this one's really nice. Look at that with a white interior. Quite a bit nicer than this one over here, but it's nice to have two. So that's the real bonus there. 
one more fire cruisers and then the blue chaparrales that I was looking forward to and then we'll tidy up the whole mess with the review of some of the cars oh look at that boy that is a bright red that's even brighter red than a normal bright red because this one's really a bright red but this one's even brighter it's quite pretty shiny base look at that got the disc Hong Kong wheels now how did it do that USA Mattel USA how did they get the Hong Kong wheels on a US car anybody know I don't know she's a beauty though she is a beauty nothing I like more than moving cars around having lots of them because I'm a collector I like to collect things everything I do becomes a collection chaparral chaparral you know there was only one mongoose but two snakes and that's okay because snakes are harder to get than the mongoose oh that's sad look at that it's a blue chaparral but no it might actually be teal it's either blue or teal let's see is it blue is it blue like this no is it teal like this no not really I think it's a blue but this condition is not good that's too bad I was hoping that would be a good one but I think the other one maybe is much better let's see oh it's an ice blue ice blue of course ice blue is nice look at that ice blue just need to straighten out those wheels let's take this off yeah that's a good car ice blue chaparral I really thought this blue one was going to be nicer than that though it looked really good in the in the picture oh well still hunting for the perfect blue chaparral in dark blue this is a nice not quite ice blue it's more of a light blue than an ice blue it could have just darkened over the years but maybe it's ice blue maybe it's light blue I'm not sure but it looks nice all right so there it is chaparral so let's take a final look at the collection. What have we got? A gold from 68. We have a gold python, two hot heaps, two custom Volkswagens. Anything else? Oh, 68 custom Camaro. 1970 or 69, we have the beautiful, beautiful 36 Ford Coupe, three of the Ford Mark IVs, two Chaparrales, two Shelby Turbines, two Rolls Royce, two Mercedes, one Turbo Fire, one Continental, Custom Continental Mark III, and, oh, and a Lotus Turbine over here. It's 1970, what do we got from 70? We've got two Carabos, both the blue Hong Kong version. we got two Ferrari 312Ps, two Seasiders in red, two Porsche 93s, Porsche 917s, two in the hard-to-find aqua color, and three of the Mantis in green, two Light My Firebirds, a Nitty Gritty Kitty, a... Mighty Maverick in Purple Hong Kong, two Fire Chief Cruisers, and two Snakes, one Mongoose. 1971, we have two Sugar Caddies from 71, two Harry Hollers from 71, and that is all. And let's take a look now at what is the best cars in this lot. Well, this is kind of neat. Even though it's just a Shelby Turbine, the color on this one is phenomenal. That is gorgeous. So I'm loving that. Of course, I love the two red Seasiders with the super bright shiny motors look how shiny that one is in particular two volkswagens gotta love that 36 ford coupe definitely definitely a couple of beautiful ford mark fours there gold python very very nice two hot heaps very very nice what about back here this purple maverick beautiful 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 this row mm, this, this one right here teal porsche beautiful beautiful and like i said the seasiders that red and anything down here in this row and the perfect gray enamel the later corvette this is from like what 79 80 but it's very very hard to find this one with that particular ribbon tampo on it so there it is the beautiful what was how many cars was that was that 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 7 to 8 9 30 1 to 2 3 to 4 to 5 6 7 38 9 40 for 1 for 2 for 3 for 4 for 5 for 6 for 7 48 47 of them being red lines all 
shared with you today and thanks for watching my channel now here's some links to some of my other videos i've got a video of every collection that i've opened in the last five years is available for you to see on this channel along with matchbox johnny lightning promo models and a few other topics so thanks for watching and please enjoy your collecting experience bye bye now